kila mtu ambaye yako chini ya miaka 18 hizo rights zote zinazimandikwa ni zake every child has rights no matter their opinion what they think or say their background their social class their religion their ethnic groups or their race every organization working with every children should put what is best for each child it means that there should be no any form of discrimination that this boy is able or disabled. All of them should be supported. In a manisha, serikali nafaa kuhakikisha watoto wote wamepata hizi rights bila ubaguzi. Governments should respect the rights and responsibilities of families to gather children so that as they grow up, they may learn how to use their rights properly. The parents, the relatives are needed to help the children learn their rights. Children have the right to to live a full life. Government should ensure that all children live and develop a healthy life. Article 7 is all about the, child, the child having a name and a nationality. Also, the parents, the child also needs to know the parents and the parents need to provide for the children and care for the child. The government should respect a child's right to a name um, nationality and family ties. So my name is Maureen, my mom's name is Jennifer, my dad's name is James and every child should have a right to know all that and it's a government's job to make it happen. A child should not be separated from their parents unless it is for their own good and should stay in contact with their parents. It is only reasonable that a child stays in contact with both their parents and relatives so as to keep them uh, running and concentrated and feel secure. In a sema, what to turn your nation in Chita Fortuna was a zoo, one of four partition was a zoo, Kosaba Buniakia Kushi, now as a zoo, Kama Familia. Government will take steps of stopping children being taken away from their countries illegally. Children has ri have right to be respected. Children have a right to say and uh, to say what they think and uh, their opinions taken into account when adults are taking are making decisions. Children have the right to get and share information as long as the information is not damaging to them or others. A good example is the Kenya Children Assembly which has helped us to know our rights and to be able to share with the children who are less fortunate to get these rights. A child has the right to practice or think or believe anything that he or she wants as long as it does not prevent anyone from enjoying his or her rights. As a child, I think I have the right to worship my own God and interact as long as I do not put anyone into harm in whatsoever way. Children have the rights to join groups and organ organizations like me. I've joined the, I'm in the, I'm in, I'm in the children's government, the organization that defends the rights of the children. My name is Zaya Wangeshi, I'm 12 years and I'm going to talk about Article 16 that says children need a right to privacy and the government should protect them against attack from attacks against their way of life, their good name, and their homes. Mm. Children have the right to good information from the media, mass media, such as television, radio, and newspaper. And they should not give uh, information that will destroy their children. Both parents should take responsibility for bringing up their children um, and should uh, always consider what is best for each child. The government should ensure that children are protected from violence or any kind of abuse and I believe the society also has a role to play by conducting uh, barazas and informing them of what to do and setting up orphanages to help these children. Uh, children, if a family cannot provide for a child, then it is uh, the responsibility of other people in the society to care for the child despite the religion culture or language uh, because um, a child is everything in life.